All right, SPD and peel packing. Peel packs are these. Packs that you put instruments or supplies in that will be sterilized and then they get opened in a peeling method. You can have items that have already been manufactured this way that come already sterilized, which is indicated by the sterile. Your hypos, you got a bulb syringe. Even your scrub brush is peel packed. When you do it in SPD, or the processing department, you'll have different sized peel packs. This is a five by 10. And they can tell you either they can be using the indicators on the outside of the pack, or you can have indicators that get inserted when you're processing. And then some have these that go inside. These are your instrument protectors, which I'll show you how those get used as well. Manufactured peel pack items come a little tighter. They don't have as much space or as much give. Most of these are done via machine. You see they're very tight on the edge. They don't give space. When you do it in SPD yourself, you're going to make sure you have room. Things are have the ability to move around. Every peel packed item needs to have the date that it was processed, the contents of it, and the initials of the person who processed it, as well as the indicator on the inside, even if there is one on the outside. This is an example of one. This is a two milliliter ampule. It's missing some things. It's not labeled, and there's no indicator on the inside. So we are going to practice. When loading a peel pack, you have your bottom, which becomes the top. You have your plastic side and your paper side. And then when you go to open a peel packed item, you have your roof. You can see here, looks like a roof of a house. And on the back it tells you this is where you open it. You would peel it, pop your collars here, and proceed to peel this way. When loading, you're going to take your item, you're going to slide it inside, you're going to put your indicator in there, usually in front of what you're processing so it doesn't get lost or hidden. Then you're going to peel your paper off, which then reveals a sticky area. And you can see this line, it's pre-dented. That's where you're going to fold. And you want it to be as smooth and wrinkle-free as possible, which I can't do while recording. Then you're going to label. Okay. You need to be very descriptive as to what it is because there's a lot of different variables for many of the items that get peel packed. When you're doing instruments, you're going to use this instrument protector most of the time. For a normal instrument such as this, you would not typically need it. But when you're peel packing, you need to make sure your ratchets are open and it's unlocked. You're going to slide your instrument inside, making sure it's open. Put your indicator in. And then you're going to seal it again. Okay. Then you label it. We're going to move on to this one. 
This would be your scissor. Because scissors can cut, you never know what could happen. So you'd want to load it into your protector. So you're going to go behind and through. So that way your tips can go into this little plastic pouch. Okay, open it up. And then you're going to take this tab and fold it over. This keeps it from being able to close, okay? This is your indicator. You do not need another one inside. We would try the 5x10. It slides in perfectly. It's not too snug. It gives you just enough room. Make sure your instrument can't close. Again, you're going to peel your plastic, fold it over nice and smooth. Then you're going to label it. And the initials. And some facilities require double peel packs. When you double peel pack, you do not need another indicator into the second or outermost peel pack. So again, you want to make sure you would have enough room on this one. So I couldn't use the same exact size. I'd have to go up a size. So same process. Peel your paper off. Fold it, and you do not need to label it on the outside of the second one, but you can. And that's how you would double peel back. 